So the word anticipation just came to me. It starts with faith, just like the Christians were first called Christians at Antioch. Both words in the sovereignty of God start with faith perfectly. Okay, and I was feeling a nudge. I'm going to preach on this right now. Uh, the fourth before the fifth, okay, at any time this happens in history, okay, the fourth is the day of faith, which is the day of anticipation, okay, um, also known as the faith day, the day of expectation before the great fifth happens, which is always the day of joy, okay, five is the number of joy, so this happened with the Passover, which was on the 14th, okay, um, and they were full of anticipation, okay, for what would happen that night, okay, that they knew was going to be and then the 15th is the joy day. So today is the 24th. Tomorrow will be, tomorrow will be the 25th, a great joy day. Okay, But the, the, the 24th okay, and the 4th before the 5th is always a day of incredible anticipation. Faith is the twin of anticipation, uh, is the twin of expectation. But it's a revelation from the Lord that anticipation begins with 44, faith mathematically. And this is confirmed by the fact, by I've had this gem from the Lord so many times, but in the sovereignty of God, the Christians were first called Christian at Antioch. Done. Antioch begins with faith. Okay, Christian ends in faith. But Antioch begins with faith. And if you study early church history straight from the book of Acts and beyond using extra documents, it's amazing that Antioch literally was the headquarters of faith. It was literally like the hot spot of early Christian faith, where uh, it's like every Christian, Paul would always come back to Antioch. Like on all his missionary journeys, he would come back to Antioch because it was like the refreshing ground. It was like the, the faith paradise of the then world, okay? So um, I'm here to preach to you the revelation, a, a double package here. So faith begins the word anticipation. There's the A-N-T-I, which adds perfectly to 44, which is faith. Um, the Christians were first, the disciples were first called Christians at Antioch, okay? Um, and uh, that begins with faith, okay? A-N-T-I, then the word Christian ends in faith. And uh, you can use a computer as I have to look up all the words in the dictionary that start with anti and uh, just marvel at what God has ordained, okay? Um, at many of the things that make perfect sense for what people of faith um, stand against uh, in this life, okay? Anti-abortion, anti-sin. You can, essentially, every form of anti-sin. <laughs> um, anyways, so, um, but back to, and then if you say anticipate, okay? That's a faith love gem in order. Anticipate, okay? Um but back to today's date, today is the 24th before the 25th, okay? 25 is the, or 5 is the number of joy, and 25 is 5 times 5, half a joy, okay? Um, so the 4th is uh, always this um, day that is full of incredible faith, also known as anticipation, okay? Um, for what God is going to do, okay? expectation all day long and you're also looking with tremendous anticipation towards the five that follows the tremendous uh joy and celebration day okay that has an extra dose of joy and celebration in my strong opinion based on a lifetime and total study and seeking god and all of this um so there you go. A couple of gems I wanted to share with you um, that anticipation begins with faith. Anticipation is like the twin of faith. Um, you have to expect uh, God to do things, okay, in your life. Um, one of the most important ways that you invite um, the acts of God and the revelations of God into your world is by, it's very simple. It's an invisible thing. It's a desire. To, it's a desire for that. It's a desire to hear from God today and receive from God today. It is an invisible thing that only some humans are doing, okay? God willing, at some point, everyone will be doing it. But um, <clears throat> you have to um, be expecting, okay, uh, to be blessed today. You have to be expecting, okay, to hear God's voice today. You have to be expecting great joy today. You have to be expecting wondrous feelings today. You have to expect 
to be loved by God today, and you have to expect to uh, hear His voice, be used by Him, be led by Him. Um, it's just, it's just, it's this constant invisible dial on the inside of you, okay, that you are full of love for God, and therefore full of anticipation for what He's constantly going to do uh, in you, with you, through you, around you, for you, all the rest of it, okay. Um, and for the whole world, okay? Um, so, uh, that's the gem, okay? Anticipate, faith, love. Anticipate begins with faith, okay? A-N-T-I, antis. And it's very glaring how that A-N-T-I match faith. They share the letters A-T-I, and then the N is um, F plus H. Like, it couldn't be more glaring. And so, if you study letters throughout history... With this revelation, looking as I have using the computer programming, and you search for A N T I, with this revelation that it equals faith, okay, um, in the mind of God, you will be not you will not be disappointed at uh, at how all it logically perfectly falls into place. So I gave you one of the biggest gems, okay, in history, is that the early church had its faith hub in the city of Antioch, which is still a city to this day, and I believe that God is going to send a faith revival. If there currently isn't maximum faith in Antioch, I believe with all my heart that God is going to send a massive faith revival to the city of Antioch that exists today. Um, and he'll probably do it in response to my prayers, rather in res just in, in this response to this revelation, okay? That Antioch begins mathematically with faith, okay? Um, and that's where the early church began. That was the headquarters of faith. That's where, okay, all the early Christians would gather the most in, in order to be nourished in the faith, in order to find the, the greatest uh, fellowship and the greatest Christian population. And from there, they went out, okay? Um, Paul, Like I said before, Paul, on his four missionary journeys, from what I understand, he would always return to Antioch because that was the home base of the church. That was the faith haven, if you will, uh, of the early church. So in the sovereignty of God, Antioch begins with A-N-T-I, which equals faith, Okay. Uh, the word Christian, of course, ends in those letters, which equals faith. And you can take a magic carpet ride using a computer program, using your dictionary, um, through all of the words and names of history, looking for that foursome, recognizing that it equals faith, and be amazed, okay, at the glory of God. Now, I already told you this morning, okay, uh, in my first video, predictions for today, that there was going to be faith gems coming to me today, and now I'm preaching one live, okay? So the word of the Lord already came to me in my mind, okay? Anticipate. Anticipate, okay? It starts with faith. Anticipation, okay? But the exciting thing for, for anyone, even children can understand this, okay? It's very easy for children to do this. On the fourth of any month, okay? In fact, the fourth in any place in life is a place for faith, which is the twin of anticipation. Faith is not just a belief for safety or something now or feeling okay right now. Faith is coupled with anticipation that uh, something is coming that God has uh, prepared for a perfect time, that there is a perfect time for the present. You know, you know, like when you have a birthday and you know that your parents are going to give you a present on that specific day. And so you're full of joy because of the anticipation of that exact time coming. It's the same thing with Christmas. Kids are full of joy because of the anticipation. And that is why God ordained Christmas Eve to be the 24th. Because it's a, it's a day of maximum anticipation, uh, you know, before the, the great 25, you know, when most traditionally, even in our family as Germans, we would open the, the presents of Christmas Eve. But guess what? That would happen well into midnight. And so the, 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 the anticipation, the maximum anticipation of the fourth, at midnight, it, bang, clicked into the sublime joy of the five, the fifth, Okay. What was total anticipation in the sovereignty of God between, became maximum celebration the very next day. And for us, it happened right at midnight because we opened presents uh, in the evening as, as German heritage in, in Christmas Eve. And so, and we would stay up all night. We would stay up as late as we wanted because mom and dad would let us. And, and we would stay up uh, like all night from midnight to Christmas, uh, Christmas Day, the 25th, until, you know, we absolutely crashed and passed, fell asleep on the floor and got up and spent the whole... 25th of December, just maximum joy, okay? So it's the same thing God instituted with the Passover. The 14th day was a day of total anticipation. And then when midnight struck and it changed into the 15th, it was 
total freedom for the Israelites, total joy and total celebration, okay? Uh, and you study all of history and the whole scripture with this in mind, and it's perfectly clear. So I'm already, I'm telling you uh, what God is saying to me right now on this 24th day of August, okay? Um, um, and in fact, any fourth of the month, you can do this with the fourth of the month, you can do this with the 14th of the month, and you can do this with the 24th of the month, okay? Um, it is a day of anticipation, okay? Um, you see that? You see how it is a day of anticipation, okay, for not just for what's going to happen today, but particularly it's we are anticipating the tremendous joy of tomorrow, which is the 25th, okay, uh, the joy day, okay? Um, all right. I, um, I think I squeezed enough out of that one. Okay. Um, so anticipate begins with faith, A-N-T-I. The disciples were, cursed, were first called Christians at Antioch, um, because of their faith, A-N-T-I. Go ahead. Go ahead as I did. Just go nuts. Finding all the English word, finding all the strings in history that contain those letters with the, with the meditation of faith in mind. You won't be disappointed. You'll just be like, "Oh my gosh, this this this, this is just logical dreamland." I um, it, my my entire all of history is making sense now. It just it's it's all this faith theme, okay, that that runs straight through the, the cross of Calvary that Jesus Christ died for us and that our faith saves us from our sin. Uh, but the faith purchased people's righteousness in the Old Testament from from even before Abraham. Enoch was right before God. Just okay, okay. So. There you go. Um, so today is the 24th of August, okay? Um, it is a day full of faith, okay? And it is a day of tremendous anticipation for God to do great things today. And it is a day of tremendous anticipation uh, for the tremendous joy day tomorrow, which begins precisely at midnight tonight, okay? When 24 changes to 25, okay? Um, the, God does this concept all through history. You know, a, a woman expecting to give birth. It's just... It's just escalating anticipation, okay, until finally the joy comes, okay, um, and uh, that's the message of any fourth that is about to turn into a fifth, five, the number of joy, okay. Oh, that's good. Oh, praise God. Um, anticipate. So anticipate equals faith followed by love, faith, love, anticipate. Um, anticipation ends in father, of course. It's, and then you just chew on some other, you know, um, words with all this. Anticipate. You can squeeze more out of. Um, oh, my goodness. Well, here's the ultimate confirmation from you. The word anticipation has a double of A-N-T-I. Done. You know how when you get in Scrabble, you get double word score? Well, we just got the double word score. So the word anticipation, this is a revelation from God, has A-N-T-I and another A-N-T-I. Anticipation. In order, the second one is A T I O N. A T A T I N. Now let's be really, really clever here and just quickly analyze the word anticipation. Are the only double letters the A and the N and the T and the I? There's a, there's a triple I. Okay, so there's a third I, and then what's left over? Um, C I P. Um, Anticip. Forgive me, folks. Uh, 28, the C, I, P, and an O. Yeah, the C and the I and the P and an O. Um, which is, uh, 25, 43. Okay. One point short of a triple faith. But the obvious is there. Okay. Um, amazing. Amazing. But the simple and plain fundamental revelation is you can't even say the word anticipate anticipated, anticipates, anticipating without saying faith mathematically right at the front. 44, the great 44. Okay, so the average value of those four letters is, of course, 11, which is the root um, module of faith. Okay, so I said in your day, all day today, God's going to give you 11s. This this applies to everyone worldwide. God's God speaks to everyone worldwide, and he does so for his own satisfaction. God is the mathematical perfectionist. Okay? And so I promise you, as more people study their day, today, August 24th, 2020, if they could actually memorize it and study it carefully, uh, you know, with gematria, at the gematria of everything that happens in their life, they would get tons of 11s, 22s, 33s, 44s, essentially multiples of 11 coming at them by God's sovereignty um, all day long today. Okay. Um, 
All right. That's great. Faith anticipates. Now, if you say faith anticipates, you've just, the word anticipates starts with faith and it ends with TES, which is one of the most famous faith packages in history. They shall come from the East and the West and sit down with Abraham, who equals faith in the kingdom of heaven, Jesus said. And why the East and the West? Because the East and the West share the letters EST, which equals faith. Okay. So, and a host of other ESTs. Okay. The promised seed came from Abraham's testes. Faith, faith. Okay. <laughs> For the two of them. Um, it's all perfect from beginning to end. This theme of faith that God is so so proud of, that's, that is so central to who God is. Okay. That he ordained every word, like the word testes and every word under the sun to perfectly add up to this faith theme. Okay. So, um, there you go. Um, excellent. Congratulations on your enlightenment. So, faith anticipates. Of course it does. The word anticipates starts with faith and ends with faith. The word expects contains the EST as well. And um, the sky's the limit. You can study more. Faith waits, W-A-T, contains a famous trio that equals faith. Um, faith hopes. Faith equals hope. Okay, I've said some very big ones there. Um, go ahead, go nuts. Okay. Um, oh, that's too fun. Um, anticipates. Oh, that's fun. Good for Okay. Um, that's good. Okay, so we preached on that faith gem um, with the Antioch, the Anticipates, and the rest of them. And the fact that today's the 24th, uh, which is full of anticipation, okay, for the 25th, the great joy explosion number, any multiple of five. 